Hey what's up guys my name is Tanmay and I'm back with another video for our channel Simple Snippets. So this is the fourth video tutorial for our series Number System and Conversions. And in this video tutorial we're going to be learning how to convert a decimal number to an octal number. In the previous two tutorials we learned how to convert a decimal number to binary and vice versa. So if you want to have, have a look at it you can check those videos as well. In this tutorial we're again going to be solving three sums wherein we'll be converting three decimal numbers to octal numbers. Now all the three numbers are of different types. The first one is a plain simple integer value. The second one is a fraction and the third one is a combination of both. So let's get started with the first sum. Okay, so in the first sum, we have a simple integer decimal 56, which needs to be converted to an octal number. So you first draw the table as I've drawn and write the number 56 in the top right corner. In the top left corner, we write the base value of the octal number system, which is 8. Now we divide this 56 with 8 till we get the quotient as 0 and we are also interested in the remainders. So we know 8 7s are 56, which gives us a remainder of 0. Now we know 7 is not directly divisible by 8. So we write it 8 0 the 0 which will give us a remainder again 7. Now since we reached 0 we will stop this process and we have also got our answer which is 7 0 in descending order. This means 56 in decimal is equal to 70 in octal number system. In the second question, we have a fractional decimal number which needs to be converted to an octal number. So we write the decimal number as it is and multiply it with the base value of the octal number system which is 8 which gives us a result of 5.0. Now we are interested in this value so we write it separately and ignore this value for the next iteration. So once we ignore this we have 0.0, .0 for the next iteration. Now we know 0.0, .0 into 8 will again give us the value 0. So this will infinitely go on. So we have to stop over here and, and we have also got our answer 0.625 in decimal is equal to 0.5 in octal. Now let's move on to the next question which is the combination of the first and second question. So we divide this sum into two parts, part A and part B. In part A, we'll be converting the integer part 15 to octal number system. And in part B, we'll take care of the fractional number. So for part A, as we did in the question number one, we divide the number 15 with eight repetitively till we get the quotient as zero. So you know eight ones are eight, which will give us a remainder of 7. We know 8 zeros are 0 which will again give us the remainder of 1. Now since we reached 0 we stop this process and we have got our answer which is in descending order. So 15 in decimal is equal to 17 in octal. Now for the part B we have 0 0.25 which we multiply with the base value of octal number system that is 8 and we get the answer as 2.00. Now we are interested in the integer part so we write it separately and truncate this or ignore this for the next iteration. So for the next iteration we have 0, 0.0 which when multiplied with 8 will again give us the value 0. So we need to stop over here as we've already got our answer, which is two. So 0 0.25 in decimal is equal to 0 0.2 in octet. So now that we've got the answer of part A and part B, we need to club these answers to get the final answer. That is 15.25 in in decimal is equal to 17.2 in 
in octal so that's it for this video guys in the next video we learn how to convert an octal number to a decimal number by solving three numericals just as we did in this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when we upload these videos peace